Before understanding cloud, let us get back into the history how the computing industry evolved. Earlier we used to have the mainframe systems which does enormous amount of computing and it used to have enormous amount of storage. We will be connecting to the mainframe system to do any computing or to access any data. And that was sufficient enough if I am handling the data within a single organization or for any single department that was sufficient enough. Even nowadays, mainframes are satisfying many of the data storage as well as computing requirement, it is handling it. But when we wanted to have the different access layer or different type of access, the mainframe was not able to support. That's when the client server model got evolved. So we will be having a centralized server and n number of clients will be having the program and they will be connecting to the server and I'll be having a client application. It can have a beautiful UI and the user can access the data, generate report or do any sort of computing analysis. If they want, they can do. And this had a limitation on the server where server were not able to handle beyond n number of clients. And that added a restriction. And that's when the web era started getting evolved. In the web era, it works very similar to the client server model where we will be having a browser as a client and the website would get loaded into the client and HTTP was the major protocol that was used within the web era. I'll be having a centralized server and all the communication to the server would be happening through the HTTP or HTTPS protocol and the browser will be acting as a client to get the data or to display the information to the end user. And this created a huge revolution in the IT industry. We call that as a web error. When n number of systems connecting to the server, the capacity of the server and the provisioning of the server started getting a problem. So we need to increase the capacity to satisfy the requirement. So the one option is to do a vertical scaling. I can increase the capacity of the server by adding more hard disk, more processor, more RAM and that cannot be satisfied forever. I cannot do the vertical scaling forever and it would hit a limit where I cannot increase the capacity beyond some limit. So what I need to do, I need to bring in more and more systems parallel to each other and I have to go for horizontal scalability. When I say horizontal scalability, I need more and more machines dynamically to add it into the system and procuring infrastructure within the organization and add it into my existing infrastructure that's going to be a problem. And that's where the cloud virtualization all that got evolved where nowadays cloud supports virtual machines, physical bare metal machines as well as containers, it all it provides. And within the cloud, I can have a number of systems all together they are going to provide huge amount of compute capacity. I will be having a fleet of servers. And on top of it I will be having the virtualization layer where I can have a number of different capacity, different VMs I can have. So basically I can get Whatever the compute capacity or storage capacity or the uh, memory capacity, I can configure and I can get it from the cloud within no minutes. So the basic idea of cloud is to provide very high availability and scalability. Always the data should be available over the network as well as the infrastructure or the services should be available over the network as well as it should be in a position to scale whatever the capacity we wanted to scale it we should be in a position to scale whether the requirement is in terms of 100 servers, 1000 or 10,000 servers. Within no time, I should be in a position to scale. The key word for the cloud is availability and scalability.